Most retrospectives look back only. That's what is meant by retrospective. But I could name my show Looking Back, Moving Forward, because it was very important to me to have a section of, of art which I was still am still producing, was producing at the time, and am still producing. So in the lower level of Pyro, in the garden gallery, I put uh, a dozen or so, I don't remember how many, uh, small canvases, 12 inches by 12 inches, uh, blank canvases. And on the duration of the show, I painted things, painted images on those canvases. I chose the image of hidden faces, which is a, a, a subject that interested me for a while. And even by the end of the show, not all of the canvases in the gallery were recovered, most of them were, but they have become the, the canvases that I will continue to paint when I get everything back to my studio. A retrospective is an uh, interesting challenge. And my retrospective covers covered uh, six decades of art making. From the paper dolls I made when I was a teenager uh, using watercolor and the backs of old letterhead stationery to the things I'm doing right now. And it's interesting to see how things change. I look at, at work, I, and putting together retrospective, I looked at work I hadn't really seen for 30 years or so. And to see new things in that work and some things that, that remain the same. Uh, the paper dolls I hadn't looked at for a long time. And it, it was just curious to see how the, I used uh, the paint this pattern, uh, love the paint lace and little details, uh, which are follow through in other of my work. For example, in the Vanity series, there are lots of still lifes with just perfume bottles sitting on lace cloths and mirrors. And uh, that it's picked up again and again in my work, these, these details, flowers, uh, details of, of clothing, fabric, that relate back to the paper dolls, I think. Even in my mosaics, which are made of broken dishes, so I'm sort of stuck with what dishes I can find in terms of pattern. I see similar kinds of pattern and color and composition that I've also used in my painting. The uh, subject of my art has been for a long time women. And uh, I think we would start that with the uh, painting of a bride that was in the retrospective. I decided to do ugly brides at one point in my life because everyone was getting married except me and I had to go to wedding showers and weddings and give huge gifts to people I really didn't want to give them to. And so I got really angry about that. And instead of going to a shrink, I just painted all the ugly brides I could think of. And the amazing thing to me is all those paintings sold. I think it's because they were good paintings, not because of the ugly bride aspect. Uh, I went ahead to do paintings of women primping in front of their vanity, dresser, tape, vanity dressers, uh, trying on makeup. I did paintings of women lunching together. Uh, I did this with a group of artists. Four of us went and had lunch at a different restaurant every week, every month. And we took art materials with us. We made reservations if that was appropriate. We wore the right clothes. We uh, ordered from the top of the menu so we would spending as much money as possible. And then we ordered and we ate, and then we got out our art materials and began to make art at the tables in the restaurant. Sometimes this was fine, people were happy to have us do it, and sometimes they really couldn't stand to see this going on in the restaurant. And in a couple of restaurants we were really asked to leave because we were doing this unconventional activity in a restaurant. I think that I like to do things that people have often criticized women about, like women just sit around and talk with each other and they gossip and it doesn't amount to anything. When truly, I think often a culture is, uh, is carried through by the stories that women tell each other and by the, they preserve the culture that way. And so I did a lot of, of paintings of women in conversations in different situations. Uh, one of the best paintings, and one of my favorite ones, is called Mother Talk, which shows a group of women uh, sitting, ha trying to have a conversation with their children there who are putting their fingers in the mom's mouth and reaching for the earrings and squirming around. But those mothers, I know, still keep calling, going on with the conversation in spite of that. 